Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 25th, 26th of October. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. These don't always happen on the day. It could be a week later, it could be three days later, it could be last week. And this reading may not be for you, okay, because it's for somebody, but not everybody. Right? I mean, this is a general reading. It's not geared just for you. So, we're just going to see what comes up for today. And we know that I focus on love. You make it fit however you want. There's lack of awareness, or somebody's not being honest. Ooh, three of swords reversed. Whew. There's a lack of uh, truth being delivered, okay? Somebody's not telling the truth. And it may have to do with their happiness. Somebody could be pretending they're happy or... <sighs> Maybe they're not even pretending they're happy. Maybe they, they're, they're, their unhappiness is on the surface, but they're not... Taking action, right? I mean, it looks as though there's a lack of wish fulfillment because there's lack of wish fulfillment in a relationship, in a commitment. There is. And it feels as though if there was any type of growth, there, there isn't, okay? There's no, there's no growth here in this situation. There's no excitement. It's like the excitement that was once there has dissipated. And, and now it's like, I don't even think I want to work together with you because there's a lack of togetherness. You don't want to work with me. Why do I want to work with you? I mean, there's a lack of compromise. There's a lack of communication. Um, people, there's a, there's a, there's some, um, definitely some emotional unfulfillment here. Okay. It's like. This may be stable and secure financially. It may be safe for me to be here. But it's not fulfilling my heart. It's not. It's like I think that you may be dealing with a person that is emotionally unavailable. Or you're both emotionally unavailable to each other. It's like unhappiness. It is. There's unhappiness here because there's no real teamwork. There's no teamwork in a relationship. And there's an opportunity for a new beginning elsewhere, but you have to deal with the pain of this scenario first. You have to heal from the pain of this situation um somebody is giving up hope they have given up hope lost faith
and perhaps even a marriage. Could be a marriage or a commitment. This is a commitment. The fact of the matter is, is that communication is needed and somebody needs to take back their power. They need to find a way to communicate, to take action, to expand. Somebody needs to find a way to expand, but it looks like wherever you're at, there's absolutely no growth in your and somebody is only staying for the financial security of the of it all because there's no love in these cards and it looks like you are being watched okay you may you may be Staying in a commitment because of all the people that look up to you, you know, you know, maybe, maybe you have a lot of people that look up to you and you don't want to disappoint them. So, you know, I feel like there's an opportunity to move in a new direction but I think perhaps you're just thinking about it right now. You may not be really making that move. Oh, but. <laughs> okay, so it looks as though <laughs> we have some sort of rude awakening coming. Because, you know, the universe sees sees what's going on at all times, right? The universe comes in to, this is the universe coming in to remove something that doesn't serve your truth, okay? It doesn't. It's not allowing you to Be it, be where you need to be. It's not. It's not. It's taken. It's taken. Wherever you're at, it's like your power has been taken away. Not only your power, your truth, your happiness, your wish fulfillment has been taken away. There's, there's no hope in this situation. The universe sees that. They come in with this lightning bolt of change. And break things down for you because they want you to take steps so this is a blessing in disguise coming in it's a blessing disguised as trouble all right so it looks like we have some sort of breakup okay some sort of breakup breakthrough Massive change on the horizon. Because you've been dreaming about more. I want there's more. I know there's more. Right? Wherever you're at, you've been discontent and bored. And you've really been thinking... about your opportunities you know you've been thinking about what what is the best opportunity for me where where am I going what am I doing what's my purpose why is this happening there's a lot of thinking going on and I think you're receiving the answers I think that the universe is talking to you and you're listening you're listening you are listening
But I think that even though you're listening, you haven't made a move, right? You hear, you know what you got to do, but you haven't taken that, that truth that you hear and done anything with it, right? You hear the truth, but you haven't acted on that truth. And I feel like you haven't acted on that truth, perhaps because it's going to involve some pain. And it's probably going to affect your money. All right. So you're probably trying to make a head over heart decision regarding love versus money. You know, I'm going to, if I, if I follow my heart, I may lose some money. And it feels like the universe is saying, but where does your wish fulfillment lie? There's an opportunity for a new partnership, but it's like you're throwing it away for money, for stability. See, he's looking down here when this opportunity is up here for a new partner, expansion, growth, excitement, passion. But it's, it's like being tossed. But the money is good. You may be dealing, or this could be you, this is somebody that is trying to remain focused. This is being your own boss. You may be trying to protect yourself or protect somebody else. You may, you may be staying in this situation to appease society. Even though there's no teamwork, no togetherness, no communication, no compromise, there's no love. You know, you have a reputation to uphold, right? There's an opportunity, there's a choice between two people here. One of them is an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And the other one is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's a choice between two people. But society's perceptions... are holding you back from real success. That's a tough lesson to learn too. Boy, it is. To honor your own truth. <laughs> but it is. It's a tough lesson. Somebody is not honoring their truth Therefore, they're not getting wish fulfillment because they're not honoring their truth because of all the people that are watching them. But the universe is here to shake things up for you. Perhaps make you take some steps in which you've been stalling. Mm. The Emperor. It's about taking the lead. It's about being the boss of your life. Again, very much society driven. The Emperor is the king and everybody honors the king, right?
This is about taking back your control. It's about being in control. Yeah. You may be strong. And you're still the boss. And you may have the best thrown around. But it, that's not love. It's not love. So I think we have a man here that is trying to make a decision. Do I appease my heart? Or do I appease my followers, my family, my friends? The universe is going to bring about a change. that is probably going to take you out of your throne. That's what I think. You can only mask pain for so long. They see it, they feel it, they, they know it. They, the universe knows that you are not being honest with yourself and that your wishes are not fulfilled and your heart is aching. They know it, they know it. And they're coming to clear something out. Because you have been trapped in denial pretending that you're good when you're not good You've been feeling some heat. And it's like you've been in some sort of mental prison that has inhibited your growth. Your, your passion, I mean, your passion has not been allowed to show, you know what I mean? It's like, it's not being honored. But you're allowing it. You're, you've been stuck in a situation because it's comfortable, it's stable, it's safe, even though it's not safe. It's not safe even though you feel like it's safe. And when I say it's not safe, I mean it's not safe for your health. Stress kills. It's not safe for your health. But eights are the time is now. I just pulled two eights. The time is now. For you to rebuild. He's even got money down in the dog's house. There's like. This, this, a lot of this, somebody is, is staying in a situation purely 
for financial reasons. Trapped there because it's safe. It's safe financially. I don't want to lose. I don't want to I don't want to lose what I have worked so hard to build. And I think you've been trying to fix it. You've been trying to fix a circumstance because of the, the money, right? But it's time for you to do the noble thing. And break free. The devil reverse, that's break free. Break free from the demands of society because society isn't going to fulfill your wishes. It's not. This is the ultimate lack of wish fulfillment right here. There's no wish fulfillment staying someplace where there's no love. You can't take all that stuff with you when you die. The universe is here to break something up. Abruptly. So that you can find the wish fulfillment that you deserve. So be prepared for some sort of change. <laughs> abrupt change. Okay? Be prepared for some sort of abrupt, ab abrupt change. To break something down because you have been, it's been bothering you quite a bit, you know, and your thoughts, like I said yesterday, your thoughts become things. It's really, really been bothering you, been thinking about it a lot. It's time for you to heal. It's time for you to break free. It's time, it is, it's time for you to break free, it's time for you to take back control. Stop sabotaging yourself for society. Somebody is involved in a toxic situation and they're staying in that toxic situation because of money and greed. But there's no love in these cards. None. None. None, 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 none. There's financial stability that has kept somebody trapped in an unhappy situation. And the tower sees it. And they're about to wake you up. Be prepared. Let's get another card from over here, huh? We haven't done this in a while. Whew, so there could be a breakup, okay? There could be some sort of a breakup right here. May cost you some money, but it's not about money. It's about love, and there ain't no love in, these, in this situation. Whoever this is for, there ain't, it's not love. And there's not any passion either. Not only is there no love with this page of cups reversed, there's no passion, there's no growth. It's like... The fire been put out long time ago. It has. But you've been staying there because of money. The sex isn't even good anymore. Sorry to say. There's like no sex or who knows what. The sex ain't good. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. And you want more. And that's what you've been telling the universe. 
But this person that you're dealing with isn't going to change. So, you know, you've got to step up to the plate here. And since you have it, the universe says, boom! Now you're going to step up to the plate. Receive. You are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others. Ooh. But now it's time for you to learn how to graciously receive. Just as with the ebb and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is the natural law and order of the universe. It's time for you to receive a gift. If you are a man, you could receive some sort of gift from a woman. Could go vice versa as well. I feel as though there's an opportunity for a new beginning here after this shock. So be prepared for some sort of change. Might hurt. It might hurt. Might cut. But this change is needed so that you can find your true wish, wish fulfillment. It's only fair. It's only right. This is your life. You deserve to be loved. For real. Good luck.